Okay, so I got a little bit of a clunk on this 15 Suburban, and I've checked the sway bar links. I've also checked the top portion of that link. It's more like a it's more like a press-in bushing style on this end, and more like a tie rod end on this style on this end. So I've checked those. Those are both tight. I've grabbed the bar, I've pried on it, I've pried up here, and everything looks good. Where I'm finding a little bit of play is in the sway bar bushing. What I'm going to do is take my pry bar and I'm going to stick it between the axle and the bar. And you can do that at any point. You can do it right there too. And just take a look at this bar. It seems to move around a lot. See that gap in the bushing? So that's where our clunk is actually coming from. And it's that way on both sides. So we're going to go ahead and replace this bar bushing on this side and this side it looks like it's a strap and two bolts which the bolt kind of comes through all the way down here so I've lubed them up with a little bit of penetrating oil and we're gonna try to back those out and put some new ones on this is the part number you're gonna need the only part number I could find unless you go directly through General Motors you get two bolts per bushing, then you get a bracket and your bushing for each side. And I gotta say that these are definitely harder than the ones that are on there right now. So there's a slice right here. So all you gotta do is take this bracket off. You basically uh, take your old ones off, slide this over the over the bar, slide your bracket on, and then put your bolts in just like that. Yeah, that's really loose. That's definitely our clunk problem. So go ahead and just split that off. The bar feels like it's normal size, not much wear. But there's definitely some wear in there and this thing is, it's just really soft. So, that's okay. We've got our new one here. It doesn't really matter which way you put this split, but I'm just gonna put it back the way that it was. I messed it up. We gotta go this way. And then what you gotta do is put your bracket on. Now install our bolts. You gotta kinda of wiggle it out a little bit. And let's tighten this side. See if you got as much play as before. Oh yeah, that's definitely better. Yep, that's definitely better. So uh, this should help you with your clunk and your rear problems. If it did, please smash that likes button, and uh, if you're new, please subscribe. And hopefully, I will see you in the next video.